it's been a two-year process, and the initial evaluation was to examine his ability to generate any motor activity in his legs, which um, he wasn't able to do in the beginning. Uh, what we did was we implanted an um, epidural stimulator and an electrode array uh, with the intent of accessing uh, special circuitry in the spinal cord um, and, in essence, activate it. Um, then, in combination with intense training, try to functionally reorganize the nervous system with the help of the epidural stimulation uh, to generate uh, improved function. We did an intense series of experiments to map um, uh, the circuitry, uh, and um, in the course of that, we were able to get um, the legs to move in flexion extension patterns like walking within the very first week, and that was very unexpected. And in addition, um, within that week, with support of the body weight support, we were able to get him to stand without any help at the legs. So he was generating enough force to bear his body weight, and we lowered the body weight support the all the way to zero. And, and, and so the nervous system was able to generate enough um, commands to the muscles to have them contract sufficiently so he could stand. The most important finding right now is that we can access this circuitry um, we have an initial understanding of how it works. So we have some ability to, um, to facilitate the output we want, but it's, it's really in its earliest stages. It's a very exciting time for not only uh, for moving these findings forward and the technology forward, but for lots of opportunities to address paralysis and not only in spinal cord injury, but any other neurologic disorder.